think about like dark R&B in the setting of like your boyfriend, like you're packing up his and you need like a song to like drive in the car to while you're like dumping his in like a lake or something. That's the vibe. Um, I started doing music. I was like sang and performed. Um, like I started playing piano when I was four. I started playing guitar when I was six um, and writing songs. I think when I was like 12, but I actually started like professionally recording music maybe like three or four years ago. Um, I had met my manager and mentor, Mike, shout out to him. Um, and we, you know, I signed with him and he's been kind of like just developing me over time. And here we are putting out songs today. I'm from upstate New York. A real, a real little town called Kingston. It's small. It's small. Um, not a lot of people. Just like land, cows, like stores. It's just not much going on. Um, I would say it helped develop my sound because like, because there's like nothing to do up there. I actually listened to a lot of music. Like you just be bored. Like there's nothing to do. Um, and so my mom listened to like, kind of like eighties music, like eighties rock. And my dad would listen to like, you know, R and B like old school. My mom would listen to like Prince. And so I feel like because I was just so bored. Um, I listened to a lot of music, which I think I feel like I use a lot of those influences today. I would never tip a cow ever. I love cows. First of all, secondly, it's a myth after going and like hugging a real live cow, unless you're fucking Superman, who is pushing a cow? Like they weigh the, like they, they literally weigh a car. Can you tip a car? No. How can you tip a cow? But I wouldn't do it. I don't even like drink dairy or anything. Like I genuinely just be, I just love them. We're, we're like this being cows. I would say younger me, like eight year old me, 10 year old me who dreamed of doing what I'm doing now and always wanted to do it for just like a bigger and a deeper purpose. I feel like whenever I'm like, man, this shit. Like, cause that happens a lot. It happens a lot. Um, but I always like try to think of that of like, man, like I'm definitely here for a reason. And I would say my parents too, they're like a big inspiration for me. Like I, I do everything for them. I want to make them proud and kind of just be able to, you know, give them a life that they could never have because I feel like they just sacrificed so much for me. So, um, a lot of times like I'd be like, man, I'm good. But I think that having like that bigger purpose of, you know, my parents and just wanting to have a legacy and you know what I mean? Like change my, my family heritage. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's never been like a millionaire in my family. Like it's like a generational kind of a task, I guess. And so I feel like when I think about it from that perspective, it kind of helps me be like, girl, but what about your great, 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 great grandkids? Like, what about them? So I'm just like, all right. And then I get up and do what I got to do. So let's say my dad, my mom, my dad. My dad's first. Sorry, mom. We have the same birthday. She knows, but I love you. Hot off the press. I'm obsessed with prime water. That's a new thing. But like, that's not like something that I can do. It's just every so often I, I get like a thing that I love. So like right now it's prime water. Last month it was like kava or like before that it was just like some random droplets that you put in your water. Like they get me with all that. Shit. But right now it's prime water. In 10 years, I see myself on a farm with my cows and my dogs and like all of my Grammys on the wall and like my studio in my house downstairs, with like all my plaques, um, just kind of vibing out and just living life being like, damn, I did it all. Now what? Let's go like jump off a plane or something. You know what I mean? They would just like live on my land. Like they would just be like my pets. Yeah. Like they would just like, I, cause again, like I don't, I'm vegan. So like I don't, I'm not going to use them for anything. I just want them to be like in the background, like living life, just eating grass. Like if I can just like look out of my kitchen window and just see a cow, like being a cow, just like eating grass, just in the sunlight, like something about their energy. Again, once I sat down and I met them, now when I say them, I don't mean like all cows of the world, the cows that I met, like their vibe and energy. I was like, we are just one. Like they mind their business. They don't bother nobody. They just do what they do. And you know, that's that. I feel like that's, oh yeah. Like they'll all have names. I'll probably have like, maybe, maybe like, 15, like max, I'm gonna have to like consult with like a farmer of like, all right, I got this many square feet, this many acres, how many can I put back here? And you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like you're gonna see me on the news like rescuing cows from like a slaughterhouse. But then it's like, they're just in my backyard now. Yikes. I would say Michael Jackson. Um, again, like not necessarily stylistically, but just like, I tend to admire people based off of their work ethic because I feel like, 
work ethic is something that you can take from somebody. Like if somebody is just like super famous for being extremely talented, it's like you at some point, like you only have a certain level of that. Like they just had that they're born with it. But I feel like people who also like who had that, but also like worked really hard or weren't that talented and like just had an extreme, extreme drive. I feel like I tend to be inspired by those kind of people. So like Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, um, just like, like even like athletes, like just like different, different kind of people. I would say that those are my two, the two, the two MJs. Um, but yeah, Beyonce, like anyone that's just like set a precedent in what they do, whether it's music or entertainment, um, and they worked really hard to get there. I feel like I, those are my people. I would say because of you, that's like probably one of my favorite songs I ever wrote. Um, and I, I feel like when I write songs, a lot of times I don't like when I'm writing it, think like I'm thinking about Bobby that day that he said this to me. Like, I'm not thinking like that. Um, but then I'll listen back like years later. And I feel like my subconscious will be like writing for me and I'll listen back and I'll be like, Oh, that's like about this. Like that's about that. And so I feel like that specific song, um, it's just like a lot about like how I think I, I came to where I'm at and you know, how different like people and relationships affected me. But I think that obviously like I turned it into this great song and, you know, I think I was able to flip the perspective and kind of change the outcome. So I would say because of you by law, great story. Hey, what's up guys? It's Law. I just wrapped up my major stage session. You can go check out the live acoustic version of Switch It Up and my acoustic interview with them right now. Go watch it.